Schmink Cosmetics. Now we're going to move on to our eyes, and I'm going to use an eyeshadow base called Color Lock. So it's a really great eyeshadow base, and it's a cream to shadow finish. So I'm just going to use my spatula and just do that all over the lid up until the brow bone. And if you can just blend right in with your fingers. Just like that. I know it's white, but the reason why it's white is because we want the true colors of the shadows to come out because everybody has different colored lids. So this will really neutralize the eye and allow the true colors to come out as well as holding them on all day. So we're going to start with the shadow called Rico as our base, the number two base brush. I'm going to tap off extra. And we're just going to put this all over our base. We're also going to use it as a highlight, so I'm just going to go up to my brow bone with it. For our crease, we're going to use Tabac, which is a really gorgeous taupey color with a little bit of shimmer. And we're working with taupes today because that's really beautiful on blondes and fair-skinned women. So we're just loading our brush up and tapping off extra. And if you feel you put too much, don't worry about it because the more you blend, the more diffused it will become. And the better it is to get that natural look. Okay, so next we're going to work with a shadow called Auburn, and we're going to use our number four brush. Now this is a lining brush, and it has a very pointed tip, which is really great for aligning the under eyes as well as smudging them and the outer corners, which, which will really enlarge your eye and give you that really gorgeous, soft, smoky look. So we're just going to load up our brush at the tip and tap off that extra, and we're just going to go right at the outer corner and we're going to make a V shape and just really blend that out. We're blending inwards just like that so that way you get a really soft smoky look and then we're just going to bring it right underneath the lash line And you can add as much powder as you want to get the desired effect that you want. Just make sure that it's all blended because you don't want it to be like liney and streaky. And so again in the outer corner, in a V shape and we're going to blend it inwards and drag that underneath the lash line. like that. And just make them as even as you can. Just keep looking back at your work on one eye. And just fix them. There we go. And what I like to do is take a darker color. So we're going to take wire now. And using the same smudge brush, we're just going to go underneath the lash line and next to the outer corner of your eye and just smudge that to make it a little bit darker but still soft and smoky. Now this look really helps open up your eyes. Okay guys, so now we're going to line our eyes and we're going to use wire again, which is that dark brown, and we're going to use the number five angle brush. So. I'm just going to load up our brush, and the brush 
as an angle so that way we can really get in to that lash line and line the eyes and we're just going to dab it across and we're using powder to line our eyes, not pencil. We're using shadow to line our eyes because it gives us a more natural and softer look, which is what we want. So, I'm just going to dab it across <coughs> our lash line. And you don't want to drag it because then you'll have fallout and, you know, you don't really want to ruin your palette. <laughs> there we go. And now we're going to do a technique called highlighting. So we're going to use our Hollywood Highlight Powder, which is just a really light powder, and our four and a half brush. Now this brush was specifically designed for this technique and what I like to do is highlight my eyes as first and then to after the contour we're going to do the contour highlighting and then the eyes again just to really clean up that makeup. So on an angle we're going to dab it right into the hairline just like that. And this technique is going to lift the makeup up as well as clean up any lines or loose fallout that you have. So right into the hairline like that. On the other side. Just up on an angle. And then you're just going to brush that away. And then the powder gets blended away and then you still have that really gorgeous lift as well as clean makeup. So this is a really great technique to use for every day. Just blend it away. Just like that. Now we're going to do mascara. So we're going to curl our eyes with our eyelash curler. And this curler is made from plastic, so that way it doesn't damage your lashes. It's just very gentle on them and still gives you that curl you want. There you go. And we're going to use black mascara. A really creamy, wet texture. It's perfume free and you know you can just wash it off with soap and water. And I'm using a spoolie brush, but this is the mascara wand. So you can see it's really fat and it allows for really great volume. So I'm just using this one so that way we keep everything hygienic. It's cool to be clean. <laughs> so what we're going to do is just coat the top of our lashes first so that way you don't need to use so much and that way it won't get clumpy. And if ever this happens to you where you get mascara on your base, just wait till it dries, don't freak out. And then you'll just take a Q-tip and it'll come right off. And now, I'm going to go and coat our bottom lash line. I love the look of putting mascara on the bottom lashes. It just really completes the makeup and also enlarges those eyes.